Hi everybody I am uh, Dr Zainab Bora and I am very happy to have uh, Dr Sayani with me a very very sweet girl uh, INICT rank 5 uh, so so proud of you and many congratulations uh, you. Sayani how are you how are you feeling how has the journey been like you just said it is slowly starting to sink in so so I'm sure you are over the moon but but you know how has the overall journey been like uh... the journey had its ups and and ups and downs but yeah. but the day the results came out i really couldn't believe my eyes like i expected after watching the recourse that okay i have i've done a good number of correct then i might get a good rank this time but rank 5 was beyond imagination i would be honest amazing so so tell us about you know how you have come from mbbs how was uh, mbbs like for you then then your internship how did you go about preparing for pg entrance uh, ma'am i have done my mbbs from calcutta national medical college and uh, it was a great college and i loved my college days um, yeah. then uh, i started uh, like in first year uh, it i just uh, read my textbooks then from second hmm. year i started uh, we, we we were locked down it, it was 2020 yeah. and during that time i that was the first time i started watching you and it was a yeah. immense boost i was so inspired <laughs> and at that time my seniors were also preparing for neat pg like you you yeah. used to speak to them and of course yes. it was uh, yet a long journey ahead for me that i know it was late but that time also yeah. i started following your tips how you gave advice to students i used to listen oh. that how how they were worried my dadas and didis and how you used to allay their fear how you how you used to inspire them and it also inspired me as well wow <laughs> i am so happy you know because those were my initial teaching days as well i think i just started out uh, in in 2020 itself so yes. so you have actually seen my entire journey and my yes, evolution as a teacher as well so so you know i am i am so excited to to you know uh, see you do so well uh, because <laughs> you know you have witnessed my journey as well uh, so so uh, after that point after second year how how did you go about it because i i i guess your clinics would have been affected because of the pandemic yes. so, like, so how uh, was uh, till, final of like yeah uh, till me the third year uh, we were not having regular classes mm. practicals were affected like we all, yeah. we we had classes based on practicals only theory classes were not taking place but they were uh, they were yes obviously it was negative that we were no, we were not having that regular fun ha- going to classes yeah. together but yeah. also i used that time watching you and yeah. uh, reading different kinds of books yeah. and also i uh, i made plans that how will i do it how will i prepare for my pg where, where once i reach final prof and yeah. uh, i also used to do well in my professional examination yeah. my theory it's not that i just read my theory books i integrated everything like you advised and that mm-hmm. helped in my profession i used to top them amazing so so you started watching uh, the videos during your final prof itself were you using uh, apps or videos uh, and their notes with the textbooks or what was that like what would you advise a final prof student to do at at this point a uh, final prof student i would say that final professional examination is very important and the standard textbooks are very important but more important than this everything is understanding no matter how you understand from the app or the st- textbook the yeah. main point is understanding and that is to the de- depth if yeah. you have your concepts clear no matter how the question comes you can always solve it yes correct so so basically uh, do what works for you for a lot of students reading textbook works for a lot of student it works if somebody explains and then they go to the textbook so so don't shy away from any resource right do what you can and what works for you yes and and then after intern i mean in your internship year after you cleared your uh, profs what how was internship like for you how hectic i i believe in west bengal it is very hectic uh, yes it so- was i started my internship with medicine and yes. the first day the day just uh, the second day i had a night duty and i was like will i ever survive internship yes. <laughs> how, how how is life now then yes. the initial month i was just detached from studies no studies nothing i tried to solve a few mcqs during my ad days but just so after solving five mcqs one patient came up i didn't know how to deal with it then yeah. after two months it, i i gra- gradually got accustomed to it and i first gave my gt uh, in my third month of internship 
Mm-hmm. And I like got a one forty five, one forty questions correct. Yeah. And then after that, whenever I took time, I knew that my performance would may be great, may not yeah. be great, but I tried to be regular in giving my GTs because it breaks the fear actually. Correct. Because end of the day, you have studied what you had to, right? It's it's a perception that I have to now start studying for PG entrance, but it's nothing different. Those are the same subjects. It's just an application, and even better, right? You have the answer in front of you. I think that's yes. a good tip for interns who are working. That uh, don't uh, detach yourself from from yes, preparation. A lot of times, students just give up. कि बाद में देखेंगे आफ्टर इंटर्नशिप इज ओवर जस्ट इवन इफ लाइक यू सेड कुछ नहीं हो रहा पढ़ाई नहीं हो रही गिव जीटी प्रैक्टिस एमसीक्यूज डोंट डिटैच फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस बिकॉज देन यू फील लाइक अच्छा अब स्क्रैच से स्टार्ट करना पड़ेगा इट्स नेवर स्क्रैच इट यू डन योर एमबीबीएस इट स्टेज विथ यू कितना भी पढ़ा इवन इफ यू नॉट बीन अ टॉपर लाइक सयानी स्टिल इट इज इट स्टेज विथ यू समवेयर वट एवर यू डन राइट सो सो यू हैव टू बी कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ दैट एंड कीप सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन एंड जीटी आई थिंक दैट्स अ ग्रेट advice uh, uh so so uh, after that point how were you going about it uh, you know in uh, your one post intern yeah yes and whenever i used to have one posting like during my pediatric posting i solved all the question bank previous year questions of pediatrics like i sometimes i could relate that yes this is a thalassemia patient and i'm solving this question so whenever i had one posting like when i had psychiatry posting i solved the psychiatry pyqs and during my internship i for like before that i used to solve all kinds of questions from all different platforms and i also used to participate in quizzes and i remember texting you at that time that your way of teaching is helping me to win <laughs> quizzes too <laughs> I think uh, when we were uh, when I was teaching at an academy, we had those midnight expresses and everything. Uh, it was so free flowing. I remember there was no pressure of time. Now somehow <laughs> the mindset of students also has changed that we want everything in a short amount of time. You know, so so I I, I remember those times and I feel like the, it was such a, a nice uh, conversational method and very <laughs> free flowing without any pressure of time. I think that was something which I miss. Yeah, and I never took pressure about performance. Like even in my practicals, in in my uh, professional exam, I knew that let me trust in myself, and the best will come. Like that, no pressure. If you take pressure, that gives a uh, that impacts your performance. Yeah, because then daily you are going to bed thinking, "Aaj pada nahi, aaj pada nahi," and it only keeps adding up, and then you get frustrated and you leave it. Right. So, so I think it's best to just go with the flow. कि रोज कुछ कुछ समथिंग आई हैव टू डू डेली एंड वट एवर इट इज यू नो वट एवर इट इज दैट आई कैन मैनेज इन अमन एबिलिटी लेट मी जस्ट डू दैट Yeah, and ma'am, I also watched your exam strategy videos. Even the one before giving this I N I November twenty four, and uh, like you told to attempt one ninety plus questions, but this time I didn't. I like I uh, attempted close to one eighty because I was sure of not getting negatives because there were some one liners and facts. I knew that I would get them wrong or some ambiguous question, so mm-hmm. I played safe, not too safe, but I didn't attempt one ninety this time. that is uh, very interesting I, you are probably the first student uh, who's in top 10 that i've met who's attempted 180 let me tell you that i've not seen a topper uh, attempting less than 190 uh, means you had very high accuracy out of 180 i believe you only got 10 wrong then right 11 11 wrong 169 were your corrects no 170 One seventy were your corrects, right? So, so ten wrong out or eleven? Fine, one eleven. Eleven. Unrelated. Okay. So very high accuracy, I must say. You know so that that you knew what you didn't know, and and you played very safe. You completely skipped that. Um, I I think let me just still say that if you had gone all in and attempted one ninety five or one ninety six, I believe your rank wouldn't have changed. <laughs> you would <laughs> still have gotten a. Uh, uh, probably a better rank than 5 also because what happens is you increase by 20 even if let's say you got 5 more correct out of that uh, it it makes up for the negatives no actually But, ma'am i was thinking yeah. that you are right i should have attempted it because when i watched the recourse like two you three questions you would have rank one i think if you had attempted uh, more <laughs> no one. when i was watching the recourse <laughs> you recall then i thought why didn't i attempt like at least three questions i could have attempted i had this But yeah, then... <laughs> but, but you have nothing to be sorry about. You know, are at rank five. You will get everything that you want. After a point, it's a number, right? 
one or five it's just a number but i'm just saying i'm very very surprised that you say uh say this because this also gives me perspective that even this is a good strategy to play very safe but then this should only be adopted if you are very sure of the ones you are doing right you can't be both ways ki us may be doubt and then you are leaving so many so i think that is also a very uh important insight um uh so so tell me more about you know um what do you want to tell your juniors who are going through their internship now uh, was this your in- first attempt first yes, exam ma'am. yes in your internship itself yes like my internship ended in may and yes. i gave i and i may 2020 for just a week after my convocation okay and then neat pg i gave and as the timeline was i and i yeah. coming up before counseling then obviously i How thought that this is do in i and i may and neat what were your ranks there yes, in i and i may 2390 okay and in uh, need 2125 so so very very big improvement uh, were you expecting this was your uh, effort proportional to this improvement in the last 3 months following it how was After, your post need period preparation like post need ma'am i was i will be honest i was very confused i had second shift and yeah. i have really put in my uh, efforts like whatever mm-hmm. i thought and just after internship that was the two months i fully dedicated to studies mm-hmm. but i i had some uh, portions left like some mm-hmm. subjects were weak i strengthened them mm-hmm. when then came neat uh, i also did the pyqs but neat was uh, the neat rank was not uh, uh, comments what i wanted yeah. like Uh, it, it 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 didn't give me a good call way college and all of my dream branch it, it was getting difficult and then i was determined that since i'm getting this chance mm-hmm. i will not doubt myself and i will just forget my past like you say always mm-hmm. and i will focus on the present and i will try to give my best <laughs> i will not i didn't take any pressure like this is my last chance or what will happen i thought that yes i have got a rank in need at least if i don't get a college i'm getting my branch yeah. but since i have this chance why not give my best without any pressure amazing i think when you give an exam with that attitude of of nothing to lose i i think the results always work better and in your case it has been a marked improvement you know from 2000 to rank 5 i think that's amazing and and also shows that you gave a much better exam you had your strategy sorted by now after giving two exams i think you yes. know what kind of mistakes you are making and then that introspection is also very important a lot yes, of students don't do that ki okay what are the mistakes i am making and how do i improve once you figure that out i think uh, the improvement is uh, inevitable you are only going to improve uh, great uh, thank you so much uh, shayani thank you for- it was lovely uh, talking to you and and i wish you well always in life um, any time you need any help you know just let me know Thank and... you so much, ma'am. And I'm taking up your branch. <laughs> Go. Maybe I don't know if I will get Delhi or not. But let's hope. I for think you best. should. Yeah, I I think you will. And I I also hope and pray that you do. Uh, get Thank a you, degree ma'am. radiology, and that is something which uh will set you up for a great career. And and uh, utilize it. It's a great program. So utilize it well. Learn well from the best yes. faculty there. And ma'am, I also watched your video that the pros yeah. and cons of radiology that it was the just a day before the results came yeah. out yeah 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 <laughs> correct so, so i, I all yeah. i already made up my mind that i'm going to take radiology when the results were out there was no Amazing. looking back great great i am so happy for you and and i'm sure you're going to do great in your radiology career as well so so it's not goodbye for us we are going to be in touch for a long time yes <laughs> always always man like you are my you are like a part of my family whenever i everything every time i said designer ma'am if she was in my place you would approach the question like this you are always in my head <laughs> i will be i'm so grateful i love you so much thank you so much dear it means so much to me and and stay blessed always and always stay the same okay never change uh, don't let the world uh, uh, change you or corrupt you uh, that is what i i pray for you um, Um, all the best dear all the best thank, thank you thank you ma'am thank you